One of my favorite all-time movies is Hoosiers, and I watch it every basketball tournament time. And with me today, I have a very special guest, Laura Lee, who played uh, Loetta in the motion picture of Hoosiers. And uh, Laura, it is good to have you on today. Oh, well, thank you so much. I'm glad to uh, participate and help. You know, uh, I have two favorite movies, really. I have the Hoosiers, the movie, and I have Hoosier, the outtakes, which you're the star. And you were such yeah. a you were such a good actress, I cannot believe it. And they cut out the best scene where Buddy comes back to the team, and you basically have more lines than uh, than Brad Long and uh, Gene Hackman, and you just did an excellent job. So I tell all my friends, you watch the outtakes. It's almost as good as the movie. You're very sweet. You're very sweet. But it was fun to finally have that edition come out where I could actually see because I had never seen it. I I never went to the dailies to, to watch myself, and um, so it was really fun to actually finally see that one that came out. I'm like, oh, my God. You know, when you watch yourself, yeah. you sound funny, you look different, and good Lord, it's been almost 30 years ago, so... Um, I look so much younger there. <laughs> uh, I bet you. I bet you. You're just the the same. The peach you were there, and I loved your accent when you were talking about the, at the meal oh when when you're with the, your dad and your mom and Gene Hackman are there. Yeah. That was that, that was Indiana accent right there. Well, you know what's funny about that? Like, I don't think uh, any kind of accent at all. But you know, I grew up in Indiana my mm-hmm. whole life, and when I went to my audition, and, you know, you have to do a lot of auditions, readings, and all that stuff, and then finally, once, you know, they cast me, I was like, yeah, that's great, and then they said, well, you know, we'd like for you to spend some time with Barbara Hershey, because they want, they want her to hear, and kind of, you know, the Hoosier accent, and, and kind of be familiar with it, so I spent a couple of afternoons just hanging out with Barbara Hershey, and in her um, hotel room, went to dinner, went to the set. And you have to remember, at the time, I was like this 18-year-old girl. And, you know, I knew who Barbara Hershey was. I mean, she was already yeah. a big star. And just to hang out with her was so really weird. And she was so cool. I mean, I remember being in her room, and they kept saying, okay, Miss Hershey, it's time for your, um, we have to leave. And she's like, oh, hurry and get dressed. And as she's getting dressed, it was almost like she was talking like she, like I was like a, a pal, a friend of hers. She goes, do I wear my jeans tucked in my boots or do I leave them out? What's what she's saying? And just, just super friendly. And I was just surprised how nice she was. But I would read lines with her and then she would repeat after me her lines after she heard me say, say the lines in my quote unquote, who's your accent? <laughs> that is really cool. You know, when you look at it, you were on the you were in a movie with Gene Hackman, Dennis Hopper, who mm-hmm. got a, an Oscar nomination, Barbara Hershey, and also yeah. uh, Sheb Woolley, who I love when he was on yeah. Rawhide and other things. You had to feel like you were had died and gone into heaven in, in the movie business because a lot of people never get that chance. I do now. At the time, I really didn't. I, at the time, I like I, said, I was an eighteen year old girl. Um, I had just started college, and I just kept thinking, oh, I just want to try out for this cheerleading part, and I didn't realize yeah. how big the movie was, and especially, you know, how big it would become, and how legendary it is. Like, it always wins, like, the best, you know, sports movie. Um, sports movie, And yeah. let me tell you, it was always the most impressive thing when I was, uh, when I met my husband. Of course, he's like, that's my all-time favorite movie. I can't believe I'm dating a girl from the movie. So, um, Sweet. Yeah, it's a nice little claim to fame. But I didn't know it was going to be quite as big. So, I, you know, one of those, I wish I knew now what I knew then, you know. Or Did I didn't know then. Had you heard about Mylon in that, in that win? Because, you know, I talked to... Uh, a couple of the people from Milan. Did you realize that was a big deal, and that's what the movie was based on, or were you just enjoying your time? I did. Yeah. Okay. I did. My my mom and dad had told me all about that, and so I was, you know, my mom was in high school at the time that Milan. She didn't, of course, go to that school, but she was very familiar with that and how how cool it was. So I knew the storyline of it, and um, but just didn't again realize that this little Indiana movie, movie about Indiana basketball, would really be so big. 
You know, I don't think people realize it, but you were actually a cheerleader. I understand they had a cheerleading camp to t- teach you to cheer like a 1950 cheerleader, too? <laughs> that's, that's right, because um, back then, the, the cheers were a lot more, you know, not nearly as stiff and precise. Yeah. And I remember silly things, like you couldn't do any fist pumping kind of thing because they didn't <laughs> do it back then. And so you kind of had to uh, re recalculate how you do things, which at the time I had cheered all through, oh gosh, from probably about eighth grade through college, my first two years of college I even cheered all through high school and stuff. So the motions and actions that were just normal to you, you had to reprogram yourself to do things differently. Um, and, and that was a little that was a little weird. <laughs> You know, when you look at it, you were with some other uh, people like uh, Steve Holler and Brad Long. They were not actors mm-hmm. and stuff either. Did you guys kind of k- hang around each other just to make each other feel better about your position there at the movie? Yeah, we we all stayed out at um, a hotel, the Ramada, <laughs> the Ramada Inn, I think, out by the airport that we all, like the, not like the big names, Dennis Hopper and Barbara Hershey, they didn't stay there, but yeah. the, the ball players. Um, I shared a room with the two other Hickory cheerleaders, the um, oh, the wardrobe, the camera guys. We all stayed at the same hotel, and we all, it was just so much fun. It was like almost like a college campus kind of thing because you just got so close and just cutting up all the time, and the boys were just so much fun. Um, I think some of the camera crew guys, I remember them teasing teasing me because we were so naive and they would say things like oh really and I was just, they would, but they would just pull pranks on us because we were so gullible and we would believe anything when they when they had the casting call they were looking for cheerleaders and what I didn't know is that they were looking for someone to play Loetta mm-hmm. so um, I just went to the open casting call for cheerleaders, and there were hundreds of gorgeous yeah. girls that went out to try out for this movie, uh, to be cheerleaders in the movie, and they were all done up, you know, makeup and their hair and their clothes were gorgeous, and I went, which looking pretty much like I normally do, I don't normally wear a whole lot of makeup, I think I put my hair in a ponytail, had a little sweater on, nothing fancy. And they were looking for wholesome girls, you know, just wholesome, not too glamorous, but just kind of wholesome girls. And yeah. <laughs> anyway, so they were looking for wholesome, plain girls. And when I went in, of course, they took pictures, little Polaroid, imagine that, Polaroid pictures of you, <laughs> filled out an application, clipped it on there. And then it wasn't long after that, that's when I got called back to read for the writer, director, producer, the casting guy. And um, they just kept calling me back. But, again, I was just stunned by how many people were there to try out. And I guess maybe it was a savvy savvy marketer in me where I, I knew they were looking for cheerleaders to be in a movie, so I went looking like a young cheerleader and not a glamorous supermodel. You know, na- I'm yeah. happily got called back. You know, when you look back on this, you know, those deleted scenes, if they wouldn't have been a, such a successful movie, you may never have saw them, but it really has become kind of a Hoosier fan. We like that stuff, and uh, your part in there is really big. How, were you really disappointed, Laura, when that all happened? I, I would have been. I'd have been devastated, but you, you well, sound like you're always remember- just Laura. <laughs> I was, what's funny is um, I remember uh, getting a phone call like David Onspa the mm. director called me specifically called my house you know I remember my mom answering the phone and she said Laura it's the director from the movie you know I'm like okay and he he was so sweet about everything he was like nice. oh, I just want you to know we're editing this movie you know, we're like at two and a half hours and we need to cut some stuff out. So then it just breaks my heart, but I'm going to, we're going to have to cut your some of your scenes, those scenes with your lines in it, 
because I just wanted to let you know beforehand. And, I mean, he was so sweet about it. And at the time, again, I didn't realize how big the movie would even be. Yeah. I just said, I remember telling him, I'm like, so does that mean I have to give my money back? <laughs> because I had joined the Screen Actors Guild. And again, I was not even as all get out. And he just laughed at me, and it is pretty funny at the time, but I kept thinking, well, if they're going to cut it out, maybe I'll have to get the money back. <laughs> well, you know, the part but, with um, Buddy, the part with Buddy, Laura, is probably the biggest part they cut out, and that is still my favorite scene. Well, it's not in the movie. They so much about yeah. the movie. How does Buddy get back on the team? Yes. They never, yeah, that's always a pet peeve, and people bring that up all the time, and I said, well, you have to watch the deleted scenes. That's what it is. That's the explanation right there. That's the first thing I tell everybody. Watch the deleted scenes before you watch the movies. That answers all your questions. Before I let you go, Laura, you had a chance to work with Gene Hackman and Dennis Hopper and those guys. Were you around them very much, or did they kind of just do their thing? No. Again, they were all incredibly nice. Um, Gene Hackman would, you know, in between scenes, it's almost like he gave little coaching tips, little acting tips nice. all the time. And just... Very, very sweet. And he, you know, he's, I think he's from Illinois. He's a Midwestern yep. guy. So yep. he was really thrilled to be working on the movie. Um, you know, so close to where he grew up, you know, a lot of familiar, familiarity there. Dennis Hopper was another one that was funny, though, because he he was a little wild. He, he liked, <laughs> again, to shock, uh, shock us gullible, naive girls and just would say the craziest of things. But I remember having <laughs> lunch with him in his little honey wagon and he's just really warm and friendly and just funny. But really, really funny. And, it, and you couldn't believe how this guy that you were just chit-chatting with yeah. would the next you know, two minutes, he's stumbling out there acting like he's drunk and you know he's not drunk, but he just does a great job you know, um, with the, the acting and the scenes. He was amazing. I heard he spun around one time when he walks out on the floor yeah. just so he would be dizzy. That's amazing, too, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Zip around a couple of different times. Yeah. And now, and now, Laura, you're down in Florida. You're the smartest Midwestern person I know right now where it's a little bit warmer, and you're in radio like I am. I am. I work on this sales end of it. I'm not on air, but still love being around it all. It's so much fun. Well, Laura, thanks so much for taking time to do this. I know you have a busy life, and if you're a salesperson, you're always out trying to make a buck. I understand that stuff. You have been wonderful, and you just made my day. If, if you felt Dennis Hopper made your day, you made my day today, and, and, our, and our, our listeners love to listen to Hoosier stuff. Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad I could help out in any way. I'm, I'm very humbled by it, and again, what's funny now is my kids, who are 10 and 11, <laughs> will watch that movie and go, oh, my God, that's mom. That really is mom. <laughs> and she really is that perky all the time. That's cool. You know what? I can tell right now that's the way you are. That's the best part about it. You are, but you are a good actress, yeah. too, Laura. <laughs> oh, well, you're very sweet. I always had fun doing that. Okay, we've been talking to Laura Lee. She was the uh, Loetta in the motion picture Hoosiers. For the StateLineSportsHub.com, I'm Dave Schmidt.